Hi, welcome to the Movie Recapper. Today we will watch a sci-fi, action, adventure movie from 2010, titled Drawn, Legacy. This is a spoiler content video. The movie is about the son of a virtual world designer goes looking for his father and ends up inside the digital world that his father designed. He meets his father's corrupted creation and a unique ally who was born inside the digital world. Enjoy the video and let's begin. In 1989, Kevin Flynn, now CEO of Encom, tells his seven-year-old son, Sam, about his adventures in the grid, a completely digital world within the Tron computer system that Flynn created. Flynn explains to Sam that, with his counterpart CLU, the second of a codified likeness utility modeled after Flynn, and the security program drawn, he discovered something amazing within the grid, a miracle. Sam asks what it is but Flynn holds the story for next time before putting Sam to bed and going to work. A series of newspaper articles and television reports follow announcing the mysterious disappearance of Kevin Flynn after that night. Since the passing of Sam's mother several years prior, Flynn's absence leaves him effectively orphaned and puts Encom's future in a state of jeopardy. Sam is left to stay with his paternal grandparents, questioning the nature of his father's disappearance. Twenty years later, Sam rides his motorcycle through the night streets towards Encom Tower. He hacks into the building and evades security cameras as he makes his way upstairs. Meanwhile, a board meeting is being held where Richard Mackey presents the new OS-12, a secure operating system. When Alan Bradley inquires about improvements to the system, given the high prices already charged, young Edward Dillinger says that the idea of sharing software for free disappeared with Kevin Flynn. Sam breaks into the control room and swaps out the OS-12 master file so that when Mackey attempts to run it, all he sees is a repetitive video of Sam's dog Marv. Sam smirks as he passes the boardroom, followed closely by a security guard. When Mackey angrily asks where the master file is, Bradley announces that it's on the web. The security guard, Ernie, chases Sam onto the rooftops where Sam reveals his true identity as the largest shareholder of the company before he leaps off the edge of the building. He parachutes safely to the ground but gets snagged on a traffic light and is soon arrested by police. Sam makes bail and returns home, a shipping container refitted as an apartment and overlooking the city skyline across the river, including Encom Tower. Bradley visits Sam, commending him on his latest prank, apparently an annual event that Sam performs on the day of his father's disappearance. Bradley tells Sam that he recently received a page from Flynn's office above his arcade, a number that hasn't been in use for 20 years. Sam reluctantly follows the tip and heads to the arcade. There he finds a secret doorway behind his father's Tron arcade game which leads him down a passage and into a confined control room. Sam sits at the computer to find that it still works and searches through it for information. However, he unknowingly activates a large laser behind him which emits a digitizing ray, sending him straight into the grid. Shocked at the sudden change in environment, Sam stumbles outside the arcade where he is quickly picked up by a recognizer. The programs on board restrain him and the recognizer takes off again. Sam comes face to face with other captive programs, including one that nervously chatters and one missing half his face. They are all taken to the edge of the gaming grid where they are assigned either for derising or games. Sam watches as the nervous program is assigned to the games but, once free, plunges himself into an in-ground fan, derising himself. Sent to the armory, Sam's clothes are removed by sirens and is fitted with armor and an identity disc. The last siren, instructs Sam to survive before he is led out onto the gaming grid for disc wars. He is pitted against an opponent whom he manages to defeat before trying to escape the arena. Sam comes out on the final round to face Rensler who quickly subdues him. When he sees blood on Sam's armor, Rensler recognizes him as a user and faces him towards a viewing box above the arena where the watching authority figure asks Sam to identify himself. The figure then summons Sam to see him where he reveals himself as a youthful Kevin Flynn. Amazed to see his father, Sam asks if they can go home, but his request is denied. His father then reveals himself as Clue, and after seeing nothing of note on Sam's disc, sends him to the light cycle arena. 
Clue's right-hand man, Jarvis, entices the crowd before Sam is put on a team of programs while Clue battles them with his own team. One by one, the racing programs are eliminated while a mysterious figure watches overhead. Before Sam and Clue can face off, the figure intervenes with a light runner and blasts a hole out of the arena, escaping off-grid into the outlands where other programs' vehicles cannot follow. The figure introduces herself as Quora, and takes Sam out to a secluded home situated on a craggy hilltop. Inside, Sam is tearfully reunited with his real father who had been meditating upon Sam's arrival. Quora shows Sam that Flynn has been teaching her about the real world before they all sit down to dinner. Sam and his father catch up before Flynn answers Sam's biggest question, why he never came home. Flynn reveals that, as Sam now knows, when he went to work he was really entering the grid, working with Tron and Clue creating the perfect system. The miracle that Flynn spoke of before disappearing was the birth of the ISOs, isomorphic algorithms that spontaneously evolved from the grid without user intervention and with properties that Flynn had never seen before. Their makeup included biodigital genetics that Flynn was convinced would change the world. However, Clue saw them as imperfections. Tasked by Flynn to create the perfect system, Clue performed a coup, ambushing Flynn and Tron and taking over the system. Tron was presumably derezzed and Flynn was forced to flee into the Outlands while the ISOs were destroyed, an event known as the Purge. The portal, the only way out of the grid, saw the end of its millicycle window. 8 hours in the grid, just 30 seconds in the real world, which means Flynn's absence of 20 years equated to nearly 20,000 years, and closed on Flynn, leaving him trapped. With Sam's arrival, the portal is open again and Sam argues that they have time to escape, but Flynn refuses. He explains that it's a move that Clue anticipates in hopes of retrieving Flynn's identity disk to use to manipulate the portal. Flynn is also certain that it was Clue who sent the page to Alan. Understanding Sam's frustration, Quarry goes to him in his room and tells him about a program in the city named Zeus, who used to help the ISOs during the purge and may be of some help. Sam takes Flynn's vintage light cycle into the city where he trades it for a cloak. However, he's recognized by the Siren Gem who takes him to Zeus's end-of-line club where a large party is being entertained. There, he meets the eccentric caster, who promises to take Sam to Zeus. After finding Sam gone, Flynn resolves to head into the city though Cora assures him that she sent Sam to someone they could trust. Regardless, they head out as Clue's guards locate Flynn's light cycle and trace it to the point of origin. Clue prepares a group and flies out to Flynn's home to find it empty. As he looks around, recalls when he was first created and how Flynn promised that they would change the world together. The thought makes him furious. Sam, meanwhile, is taken by Caster to a private room above the party while the masked DJs spin a tune. Caster reveals to Sam that he is Zeus but admits that his service is half turned with the tide. At that moment, the club is infiltrated by Clue's guards and Sam steps out to fight them. Cora arrives and fights along Sam but is overpowered and her left arm is derezzed. Flynn then appears and derises the rest of the guards before escorting Sam, carrying Cora who has gone into a state of shock, to the elevator to escape. Zeus propels an extension cord to capture Flynn's disc as the elevator door is shut and sabotages the lowering mechanism. Flynn manages to slow the elevator before they crash and scold Sam for messing with his zen thing. They decide to then board a solar sailor which should take them directly to the portal. Clue who arrives at the club where Zeus presumes a silent agreement, Flynn's disc for control of the city. But, as he and Jem watch, Clue orders his guards to rig the place with bombs and, as Clue leaves on his ship, the tower explodes. As they ride the solar sailor, Flynn takes Korra's identity disc and rearranges the corrupted material that will enable her arm to regenerate. He also shows Sam that Korra is an ISO, the very last one. Her digital readout shows that she has triple-stranded DNA. Flynn then leaves Korra with Sam to reboot so that he can knock on the sky and listen to the sound. Korra wakes up moments later and tells Sam that Flynn saved her during the purge. They bond further and Korra asks more about the real world. Sam tries to describe to her what the sun looks like as Flynn looks on, smiling. Suddenly, the solar sailor intersects the rectifier, a large carrier ship. 
Flynn, Quora, and Sam hide among the cargo units of the sailor and discover that programs are encased within, en route to be reprogrammed into an army for Clue. Rinsler then appears and begins to investigate the sailor. Flynn suddenly recognizes Rinsler as his old friend, drawn, reconfigured as Clue's henchman. Corey gives Sam her disc and runs into Rinsler's line of sight where she is immediately captured and taken away. Flynn and Sam use Cora's distraction to move out. They find Clue giving an announcement to his army. With Flynn's disc in his possession, he intends to use it to allow passage into the real world where they may perfect it. Flynn and Sam agree to a plan and split up. Clue goes to his tower where Flynn's disc is stored. There, Cora is brought to him and, when he sees that she is a nice o, claims that he has something special in mind for her. Flynn makes his way to the light jet hangar where he reprograms a guard, allowing him to access one of the vehicles. Meanwhile, Sam makes his way to CLU's docking tower to rescue Cora and retrieve Flynn's disc. He fights off the guards there and intimidates Jarvis, allowing him to retrieve Flynn's disc. Rinsler confronts him, holding Cora as a hostage, but Sam fights him off and defeats him by knocking him off the edge of the tower. Sam takes Cora and leaps off the tower using a wing-like parachute to glide to the ground. They meet up with Flynn in his light jet and Cora takes the pilot's seat. Clue storms into the tower to find Rinsler, having climbed back from the ledge, and Jarvis looking sullen. As he watches Flynn's light jet leave the carrier, he strikes down Jarvis with his disc and leaps out of the tower, creating his own light jet. Rinsler and a few guards follow. As they fly over the sea of simulation, Sam is sent to the light jet's turret to fire on their pursuers. Rinsler flies over the light jet and he and Flynn make eye contact for the first time. Flynn speaks out to him and the connection allows Rinsler to regain his memories of being drawn. He turns against Clue, crying out I fight for the users. However, Clue wins out on the battle, sending Tron sinking into the sea of simulation, his armor circuitry changing from red to blue. Flynn asks Cora to do something for him just before they arrive at the portal. As they walk up the pathway, they find Clue standing before them. Clue confronts Flynn and insists that all he was trying to do was what Flynn instructed him to. Flynn apologizes Clue and says that perfection is impossible because it's unknowable, but Clue would not know that because Flynn didn't when he created him. This revelation incites Clue to attack Flynn who yells at Sam and Cora to continue to the portal. Though determined not to lose his father again, Sam is pushed forward by Quora. Clue takes Flynn's disc and reads it to see that it's actually Quora's, Flynn had swapped his with her before arrival. Infuriated, Clue jumps the gap between the gate and the portal but Flynn performs reintegration, a destructive method of rejoining Clue to him. Flynn watches carefully and with pride as Sam holds his disc into the portal. He says, goodbye, kiddo before Clue is merged with him. Sam and Cora escape the grid just before the union which results in a massive explosion that destroys it. Back in his father's office, Sam saves the Tron system onto a microchip that he laces around his neck. He pages Alan to the shop and tells him that he was right about everything. Sam says that he will take back and come and would like Alan as chairman. Leaving the arcade. Sam greets Cora who asks what they will do now. Sam tells her that he has something to show her and takes her for a ride on his motorcycle. As they ride out into the real world, Cora sees the sunrise for the first time. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell to don't miss our latest videos.